crazy in the parking lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that hat is called? Uh-uh. A sombrero. <laughs> a, a sombrero. Yeah, let me see. I mean, you can. You can. You can. Stop playing. <laughs> Big drip. She just went. Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. 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 What does that even mean? Speedy Gonzalez. I have to show you a cartoon. Arriba, arriba. Alright, stop that. You know what? Get your pass. You can't see it. You're right. Oh, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Ricky? Yeah. Try the chicken tenders yet? I need ketchup. Oh, you're trying to get daddy to get the ketchup. Yeah. And we got our little dip over here, queso dip. Mmm, it's good. It's yummy. What kind of tree is this, baby? Memphis peach. And what's that? It's the rock peach in there, and then what else? Um, 1800. Oh, I finna drink all oh, that. And then I don't know what this is. Um, I told her to just give me some. It tastes like a sex on the beach. But it's good. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. When I say this potato, that's what it is, a uh, loaded baked potato. It's got shrimp, chicken, steak, peppers and onions, um, sour cream, queso. Mm -hmm. So good. Hope you got the same thing. Man. He used to bring it to us all the time, but this is my first time eating it hot and fresh. So delicious. Yeah. Okay. So what'd you say? This is how you eat. In public? We are in public, girl. Who? <laughs> 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 oh, thank you. <laughs> Who be like that? Not me. And you be like that, bro? You shout out, girl. You shout out. That going to drink? And that's it? You just going to just swallow it home? Jesus Christ. He don't want to get fat like like daddy and the rest of the truck driver. Ain't that right, Briggy? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Ha ha. Oh, now you want to try to. No, my brother. Ha ha. We see you've been sedentary for some time. Ha ha. Mm. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. How many months are you? <laughs> You sound like a glitch. It's officially three weeks post op. Um, believe it or not, because I'm still shocked too. I'm, I mean, I'm shocked too. Um, I'm still swollen. Still have this pocket on my chin, right there. I don't know if you can see. Um, but you know, everything I keep saying, hearing online, and that my doctor said that it's just gonna take time like my body has to eliminate the fluid naturally so I'm actually headed to Lydia right now um, it's been a week since my last lymphatic um, and I'm at, I, I just got up so I'm more swollen in the morning time or you know right after I get up from a nap um, than I am in the afternoon so I'm going to Lydia she's going to do some ultrasound 
and some a, a lymphatic massage for me in that area and then I think we're supposed to be doing something else um, skin tightening or meso I don't know um, so yeah but she's gonna help me hopefully make it look a little bit better um, and the pictures in my phone that I've taken, like my daily little journal that I take, I take like three pictures a day, morning, noon, and night to kind of see. Overall, the swelling has improved like continuously, but it's just at a point where it's like so little progress daily and so slow. So that is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so overall, here we are, three weeks out. I don't look crazy. Um, still can't talk, you know, just to my normal self. Still can't really smile like my normal self. <laughs> it's getting better though, but Jesus Christ, girl, I was not prepared for all of this. I definitely was not prepared for this type of healing time. I, honest to God, thought one week, two weeks down, I'm Gucci. So, ugh, we'll see, we'll see. Getting my second carboxy treatment for my cellulite. I'm trying to get some smoothness back there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just had a lymphatic and oh Jesus Christ. I need to schedule some more. <laughs> I also did schedule another follow-up um, appointment with um, my doctor because um, this spot that's on the front of my chin, I hadn't been worried about it because it um, it's swollen and it has fluid and it's been numb, which has, you know, been causing me to talk funny. But just like as of the past maybe three days, it's kind of discolored. I don't know if you can see. See that spot? It's kind of discolored. So. One mile. I don't know. Use the right um, two lanes to take exit 243, State Route 166, Langford Parkway, East Point. I called in then and talked to, right. talk to his nurse. And she just said, you know, if it's going through changes and um, it could be a bruise developing with the fluid fluctuating up and down. I'm not sure, but I just don't feel comfortable until I talk to him about it. So. Got something else fucking up my skin like sir sir i did not pay you to do this like damn if anything you could have removed this like don't give me something else what the fuck is this okay guys so today i have my, my contractor coming over to um install a new fan for me in my bedroom and a few new light fixtures um just trying to slowly upgrade the home stuff that we were supposed to do forever ago but just gotten sidetracked with business and kids and life um but now that we're looking at either buying possibly by the end of this year or starting to build by the end of this year i want to get this home up to you know better standard just so that a renter can come in here and be pleased and you know so i'm going to be doing some little projects um starting now throughout the summer to just kind of like upgrade the look of the home and appliances and all of that stuff so let me show you guys the little ugly fans i have now well they're not ugly but um they're just not the vibe that i'm trying to give um they're very log cabinish to me let me show y'all what i'm saying Okay, so this is a fan that I currently have in my bedroom and my living room. And I actually have a couple of fixtures in my kitchen downstairs that kind of coordinate with this. Um, it's giving very much log cabin 
uh, very much Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I am not doing that. That is not the vibe that I'm creating. It's, I mean, you know, it's a personal preference, but when I am showing this home, preparing it for renters, I want it to have a glam vibe, um, just with the color scheme I already have in the house. Of course, if they want to come in and change certain things, they can, but I do think that upgrading these small things will help, um, you know, just be more attractive and get me the price point that I want when searching for a renter. All right, and the old ones in the hallway look like this. Okay, guys, and this is the after. I am absolutely in love. I got to get up there and touch up the paint around the base because the um, original fan's base was larger. But let me show you guys how it works. So, let's see. Let's cut the light on. Ooh, can you even see? So... We got three different temperature settings for the light. So you can go super warm, which, I mean, it's not really my vibe. I like the bright white. Let's see. Can I get it right? Yeah. Like that. And then I think I'm going to cut it off just to show you guys how the fan works so you can see a little bit better. Let me see. It's a fandelier. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. I've been searching high and low trying to find like the perfect fan for my room that was not going to detract, not going to like disturb the aesthetics, the appearance. So this is perfect for me. Let me cut the light back on again. Let me dim it. There we go. So cute. I'm gonna link um, it down below, got it on Amazon, and I will drop the link in the description. And these are the ones that I decided to go with for my hallway. It's got like the little dangly ball in the center. Let me show you these babies lit up. Ooh. Yeah, so it's just super bright, super cute. Um, still got some swelling. You can see this little knot is still hurting me on the side of my um, jaw. Um, but overall, we coming together. Um, I'm actually headed right now to my girl Melissa to um, definitely go get a lymphatic this time with the machine. That's the one that I really wanted to get from the very beginning. But she had to do a manual one with her hands um, because I was so close to like, you know, just fresh out of surgery basically. So now I can get the one on the machine, which I love. It feels good as hell and the results are great. Um, I went to see my doctor yesterday just to address my concern about the little discoloration on the front of my chin. He said um, it's nothing. It's just, you know, changes in blood flow as the nerves and um, everything heals. So, um, yeah, I'm also... My friend Brittany is supposed to be meeting me up at Melissa's today. She's supposed to start her laser hair treatments um, that she's getting for her facial hair. And I probably am getting um, something called a BB Glow. I don't know. We're going to see. Melissa, you know, I just let her do her thing. Um, we'll see when I get there what she actually decides to give me today. But other than that, um, talking is easier. It's still, I still feel like when I start to really like talk and really get into it get expressive all of that my speech is a little slurred not too bad um other than that i still am like insecure about my smile and laugh because i still feel like i have those posse <laughs> yeah it's still not pretty but it's getting better like i'm able to show more teeth so it's getting better it's not like it's stagnant um i'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel overall i feel like I look decent like I'm not I'm not embarrassed to like show my face anymore um, if I need to I will probably some point this week probably get dolled up and take pictures for my boutique um, 
and you know because i've i like this i didn't i wasn't expecting this much downtime so this is really taking a hit this past month on my business because i haven't been able to take pictures so um yeah but it's a little dark hold on let me get all my skin thank you okay but yeah so oh wait why am i going this way why does it have me going this i guess 285 okay um but yeah overall so you know I'm gonna give y'all some side views so you can kind of see what the side is doing Ooh, ooh i look like uh like Jay Leno when I did that from the side. I don't know if you guys can see right there. This is better. It's still swollen up under there, knots up under there. And then, ooh, can't really see nothing on this side. It's a lighting. I'll try to brighten it up on the computer. I'll get some angles later when the lighting is better. It's a pretty dreary day today in the A, so. I oh, don't see, that was good light. Ain't happening. Hydrofacial? Mm-hmm. Okay guys, so we just did the lymphatic and now Melissa is doing my hydrofacial and doing a little lymphatic while she's doing it as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That drives me crazy. And this is the glycol. Glycolic and salicylic. You say glycolic what now? Salicylic. Oh, okay. She is what, like infusing mm -hmm. it into the skin, kind of, I guess. Exfoliate dead skin cells and. convinced my doctor to give me a um the like the pregnant packs <laughs> for the pregnant <laughs> steroid. Oh lord. <laughs> I'm just like you wanted to get uh -huh. you wanted that swan to go down overnight. Yeah I know and it has so gone down started, a lot though. I just started it yes last night so hopefully about a week maybe it'll <laughs> Yeah, that makes you gain weight usually. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that and then take some diet pills. <laughs> <laughs> take some of that tea. Make you go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, skinny tea. Ballerina tea. <laughs> right. Okay guys, so I am all done. Let me lift this up a little bit. First of all, skin on fleek. Um, secondly, yes, I can definitely see a difference already in the um, lymphatic drainage as far as my swelling goes. Um, it's going to continue to drain. I probably won't see my full results from this treatment until, I don't know, the next two or three days but it's better already it's continuing to get better so i can't complain um but yeah so 
Next time I go, I'm going to get the BB Glow. I just did a hydrofacial today, and she's going to do the BB Glow next week, actually. So I will take you guys with me. This is still so stubborn. It's stubborn, but it's coming down. It's coming down. As of right now, I'm not mad. I mean, on a scale from 1 to 10, um, 10 being my best self, I feel like with my swelling and stuff, I'm maybe like at a six and a half. Six and a half. So, I feel comfortable to show my face. I feel comfortable enough to get dressed. Probably take some pictures for y'all this week. Um, but yeah, here we are. Tomorrow is one month. Okay, y'all. Second night out since the surgery. What are we thinking? I don't get to wear makeup every day, every night, whatever. How we looking? How we looking? Ooh, I'm about to fall. We snatched her and all. Okay, so security wouldn't let me in the club. Well, it's not a club. It's a bar. <laughs> it's a restaurant and bar. But security wouldn't let me in there without, exactly. Wouldn't let me in there with my camera. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. I'm finna show him. I'm finna show him. Oh, he gonna get seen today. Uh-huh. It's his fault. He didn't, he ain't let me in there with no camera, so it's his fault. So if y'all ever come up here to U-Bar, make sure to make his night very difficult, cause he made mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we came out, celebrate my boy Tony Beasy birthday. Hey, I'm on YouTube, I'm about to be making this. Period. Yeah. <laughs> what we doing? Not a goddamn thing. Hell no. <laughs> hey, that service sucks ass in there, man. Wait, don't be saying all of that. It's what a, you it's mean? It's a black owned establishment. I understand though, black owned need to treat people right. Goddamn no, I ain't, I ain't, you, you ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't damn lying. Damn lying. lying. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't want to give me no drink. They might know what I do. This nigga, every damn time he orders a drink, he never gets his drink. Polo, back with another video on V103. Bleed that. <laughs> Actually, it's Alana Noel with a story to tell, period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we doing? What we, we finna parking lot, um, not film. Parking lot, pit for a minute. Parking lot, pick. Parking lot, who? Parking lot, pick. These shoes hurt my feet. Anyway. Either way, it's going to help me, though, because they're getting paid off quicker. But that's why I get all this hand. Where are we going? Intro, how you do that? <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> Shit. Look, I'm recording. Y'all damn doing all this damn <laughs> stick talk. <laughs> Shit. You can while you drive. Hey, well, I just thought, I just thought it. <laughs> yeah, I just started. But still, no, he we was in Memphis though. We was in Memphis. Oh, that was in Memphis. We was in Memphis. That's another day. That shit another zone, ain't it? Yeah. Especially, especially yeah. where them trucks where the trucks be at in Memphis. I'm saying I should left That don't make no sense. We gotta wait 40 minutes here. We just waited two hours at the last place. Mm. Thank you. We should have just stuck with yesterday. Y'all talking about it's not that bad, but then talking about what is it? 
<laughs> Man, you could at least go sit over there. <laughs> How fast is he going down the mountain? <laughs> you don't fuck around? I see an opportunity in your ass face. Yeah. So. I'm going fast. I'm going fast. Somebody has his own. I'm going to let that shit ride. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I, did, I did it. Like, um, I started slow though, I ain't going to lie. I, I definitely started. You got to start. I came up with a hazard phone. Yeah, I definitely started out. Can't play with my mouth. You got an 87 on the food store. Uh, they got a what? Yeah, they got an 87. It's time to go, bro. They that did shit jumped <laughs> off, too. Y'all just need to cook, bro. Damn, damn, <laughs> damn. Damn, really? Let me try this again when I get that back. Is, how does that be an 87? 87, that looks too low. And it's like... About a 90. Nah, we need like a 96 90, to 99. 90. Yeah, we need that range. Like, what is this? But so yeah, y'all. It's my girl Alexis. And... No, this is not no new shit, but... <laughs> You don't even know where to start with us. We go way, way, way back. Way back. Like Cadillac. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm hot and I feel like my hair is wet now. It's like Yep. Oh, you're pregnant. Yeah, yeah, pregnant. What are you, you talking about? Like are you a snitch? <laughs> Do you work yeah. for the FBI? I don't yeah, know what you're talking about. Like you know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You had Tito's? I had Tito's. You weren't driving, so that's appropriate for you, but I don't know what you're talking about. She was driving. She didn't have Tito's. Period. Period. <laughs> I mean, it is Friday. It's Friday night. Where? How far are they? Nah, we good. Oh. Oh look, I was gonna say, how about we can see? Those are places you can possibly see right now. I'm thinking it's Hudson Grill, but Hudson Grill. Hell no, they super trash. I know. <laughs> super trash. At least here we're gonna get a damn um, liquor. Yeah. We're gonna get. Um, I don't even know how Hudson Grill is going Hudson Grill? That sounds like something like off of the Eagle Land and Hudson Bridge. Like, like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> <that's not laughs> <like, laughs> That's why I think when you say Hudson Grill, I'm like, do they expand? It's right there. Oh, I see. Hmm. That's all I think about. I'm like, damn, is this something like that was something on Hudson Bridge Road? And they just. <laughs> do you remember um, that restaurant, Buckhead? Yeah, Buckhead Brewery. I remember the name of it, but I don't remember. It was the over there on, um, over there on Eagle's Land. It was my grandma's favorite restaurant. We used to eat there all the time. Oh, no. no Not on Eagle's Land now. I was about to say. I remember the name of that restaurant, but yeah, so obviously I never had. Well, had the food. Food. So, this is what we ate. When did you move to Atlanta? Oh, all y'all go? I moved to yeah, Atlanta okay. in Good. 2003. Yeah, they don't keep talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I graduated in 2003. Ooh, 2002. Yeah. We're going to yeah. Yeah. So, so it's almost 20 years. Yeah. Period. Jeez. Is it? Yes. <laughs> and we look better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I might not be in the best condition because my jaw is like... <laughs> me <neither. Yeah. laughs> my jaw is a little stiff. And damn, um, the old palsy-ish, but... Like, okay, you get your medications and start taking them. You know what I'm saying? When it's, but 
it takes time for them to get the call and them to fill the prescription and all of that. And so when I contacted my pharmacy, they was like, it's gonna be six hours. And then I sent him to go get the prescription and it was like, it wasn't ready. And I just broke down crying because I was just like, mm. this is not okay. Like it was bad. And then he said that my um, wisdom teeth, they were very like heavily impacted. So they were like laying flat on their back. Like most people's teeth grow straight up, you know, whatever. Mine were laying on their back. And so he had to cut like, you know, a long cut. And then he was like, they were very deep and very big. He was like, your teeth were huge for somebody who is your size, your body, sir, bone structure. Sir. <laughs> They got one board where it show you loads, but it ain't live. You want the live one. You want yes. the live shit. So when that shit, when they post it, it's coming to you. Y'all better get into Taco Mac, uh, Nacho, Train Rex style all too, the way. You know, them loads don't stay on the board. We're sitting here trying to enjoy oh, you know, dinner. Yeah, still talking about yeah, trucking. Yeah, that might be. too? 30 seconds. Yeah. Can't avoid it. What that? Yeah. Still talking about trucking. Man, I'm just trying to get to it, man. You know what's still talking about with, with Big Sean and Louis and Big Sean. <laughs> Big Boy, you big oh, no. You big I'm Kobe Bryant and his lovely wife Vanessa. <laughs> hey ladies and gentlemen, if you there. <laughs> Um, right now I am headed to my girl Pam. So Pam, my, my, my friend Pam, she's an attorney and she is married to uh, one of the most prominent attorneys in the city, my boy Chris Stewart. He um, has handled like all your major Black Lives Matter cases. This is his wife and she is a very prominent uh, immigration attorney. Um, so she's helping people turn right on Piedmont Road their Northeast. citizenship and um, you know be legal. But anyway, so she is having a women's empowerment event tonight. It's gonna be a lot of beautiful, just like popping women in the room that's getting a thug thizzle on, handling a business. -y. So I'm all about that. My girl Halani, um, my trainer Drace and his wife. Miss Fire Chief herself, Miss Body Envy, she's gonna be guest speaker tonight. So we're looking forward to it. Like I'm definitely looking forward to it. Being in a room with lots of other beautiful, successful women that have ambition. Cause if that's not you, I'm sorry for you. Like I done left you in in 1998, okay? 17 and you think you're gonna do your makeup forever. I was like, I'm never gonna quit doing my fucking makeup. No, I used to wear makeup everywhere, on. heels to the mall, like everywhere. I'm over this shit. I literally will wear, I'm like, I, I look at myself now, I'm like, how the hell shallow could I be wearing heels and makeup to the mall, like just, and I'm not talking about Lennox, I'm talking about like South Lake. <laughs> I do not. I am not a morning person. Baby, this is kicking my butt today. But that's how dedicated I am to my healing. I am on the way to uh, Med Therapeutic to get um, a lymphatic on my chin again. <sighs> I still have like a pocket of fluid up here and on the side, so trying to get that to gradually come down more and more so um but yeah it is now like 8 15 so um yeah getting up at seven something is not my cup of tea especially because i can like honestly barely really go to sleep early like it takes a lot for me to try to go to sleep early so i think me and the kids were up last night watching and solving riddles <laughs> on YouTube until like two something in the morning. So yeah, um, I'm getting a lymphatic, like I said, and then I probably, um, I think I'm gonna get like some wood cupping for my cellulite to help with that process. So we shall see. <laughs> 
I can't wait to get back, get home and get back in the bed. Cause baby, I done yawn about eight, nine times up in this car. I'm dead to the world right now. <sighs> Good thing is it's Saturday and so there's no traffic on the road, but I'm sitting here not at y'all. You what? Wait, us. what are you doing? I'm going to go try to find Tell you two, what are you doing? Uh, it's Easter and... Turn around, I can't see you. It's Easter and I'm going to go find some eggs that have candy in them. <laughs> Let me see your little shoes, girl. Oh. Ooh, you got to show them your drip. Ooh, ooh, yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you ain't got on no lipstick, girl. Uh, I don't need lipstick. Okay, okay, all right. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so... Listen before you start. So, the green eggs are the money eggs. So for every green egg, it's gonna be very hard to find, but if you can find the green eggs, every one of them come with some money attached to it, okay? Okay. It's but not now, gonna be easy. It's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. So you might have to really look. the blue eggs. No, just the, <laughs> green, just the green eggs are the money eggs, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, she just found them like it ain't nothing, huh? <laughs> what? I saw it. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she had. You think it's up in the You think it's up in the ceiling or something? You think it's it? You think I threw it up there? Okay, she said, am I colorblind or something? Color money. <laughs> who, who yelled at me? <laughs> Plies. Uh, Slay up Color money. <laughs> find it, find it, find it, find it. Oh. oh. What was that? I don't Man, know. You kicked that thing. <laughs> now she really. Now <laughs> she really. No No, it ain't gonna be that hard. That would have been a good place to hide it, though. 
Yeah, she was finding. I don't think she's gonna be able to find it now. She's gonna be able to find it now. Oh. Da, da, da. Ah. <laughs> she got on the ground. Oh, she got on the ground. You got all the eggs, girl? Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness, so, girl. The green ones were money eggs, and the other ones were just eggs that had candy. Oh my god. And the green one can and then what I earned money. Ooh, so it sounds like you should have got some fruit instead of some money, huh? You need all that candy. You gonna share it with AJ? Yeah. <laughs> you not sure? sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> you did all the hard work, huh? Let me see all your eggs. Yeah. Ooh, girl. I got the money eggs. The green money eggs. Yeah. Move. Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> Way too much candy. You did good, girl. Thank you. <laughs> you excited? You happy? <laughs> you <not finna>? <laughs> <laughs> Silly girl. All right, y'all. I am headed back to my favorite place again. Med Therapeutic to see my girl Lydia. Today I am doing my second round of mesotherapy on my inner thigh. Um, just to kind of like slim and trim that area a little bit so um that's all i'm doing there today so gotta get stabbed a bunch of times in the doggone thigh yeah other than that everything's going okay front of my chin the swelling is just like really stubborn um it's coming down but i can still feel it in there when i mash and uh it's just like i can see it at certain angles when i talk just annoying but my doctor says it can take up to a full six months watch what you're doing babe watch what you're doing um but yeah it can take up to a full six months um he doesn't even want to see me back to like address anything until two two more months basically or two my at my two months mark or what did he say no i think he said six weeks from when i went so i don't know be like three months whatever i already got the appointment book but yeah so slow and steady but i do think i mean i've been liking it so far even just comparing before and after pictures um on my face like when i have all my makeup right. on uh It's just a lot of traffic right here, but I'm right here I'm trying to get off okay. the exit now. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye -bye. That's one thing about it, y'all. If y'all go to Lydia, y'all better make sure you on time, baby. Because uh, Karen gonna call you and she gonna be like, girl, what's going on? Because they certainly will get your appointment to somebody else. And Lydia stays booked back to back to back. All of the girls do, honestly. But, um, yeah. Ain't no being late with them. Come on, let me over. Okay, but yeah, um, so he hopes, uh, my doctor, Dr. Wynn, he hopes that by the time I come back to follow up with him, I think that'll be at like the two and a half or three month mark that I should be completely satisfied. But, oh, I was saying, I am, like, when I look at my pictures, like, that I post on my Instagram, I do feel like my face has more structure. Um, I feel like it even seems like I have, like, more of a cheekbone now. Like, my profile just looks better. Um, I'm more so trying to get over this, uh, still <laughs> I don't want to call it a paralysis still but yeah when I when I'm talking and um just my no when I wear no makeup which is 98 percent right of the time I'm still just working on that like it doesn't look bad right now it actually actually looks pretty decent today but um you know we go up and down sometimes we happy sometimes we not but either way I don't regret it at this point it's just a slower process than what i thought it would be so we shall see i'm going to be doing a video um 
answering all y'all's questions so if y'all want to leave questions in the comments or dm me um whatever i, I will be answering all you guys' questions as far as like my total pricing um if i would recommend the doctor like more in depth of the procedure so y'all can feel free to like i said drop any questions you might have um so yeah i will let you guys know i thought that this was going to be the final update uh video but doesn't seem like it seems like i'm probably gonna have to be closer out to the six month mark before i can kind of completely show you guys my final result and completely assess my happiness with everything so yeah drop some comments below let me know what questions you guys have okay so first we are doing the uh cavitation to kind of liquefy the fat further and then what you're doing meso again mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. we're just working this little corner right here mm -hmm. that's where she has fat mm -hmm. yeah i don't know why I'm gain weight <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's here that's a lot of female problems really it's always here <laughs> you want the cupid bow <laughs> that's what you call it yeah that's what i've heard it called what are you wearing tight around there or um I uh -huh. I'd like for you to wear something tight Spanx okay is it tight I mean, and right around here? Ah, you they're just like the Spank shorts. Yeah as, long, yeah, as long as it's a smaller size where it's really tight. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I am so freaking excited. Like, y'all have no idea. My Bartesian package finally came. I'm about to show y'all what it's all about. They gave me plenty of pots. Like, I'm super excited. I'm just gonna have a party in my house. Pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> hey, here you go, guys. This is my Bartesian. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. It says it makes the perfect cocktail. Ooh, this is for the tequila. This is for the vodka. Oh, it's five of them. I thought it was four. This is for the gin and juice. Period. And rolling down the street, smoking in the. AJ. This is for the rum. I like that, that it keeps it all like eating that. And then the whiskey. Her. Daddy wanted you to what? Oh my God, who's the boss? Me or dad? Like, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I feel like that was very disloyal. You need to consult with me. Okay. So, here, get the box. I'm gonna pick the unit up. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, it's a dog. Trash. Oh, it's gorgeous. What and it's it? smaller than I expected. So what does it do? What is it? None of your business. It makes me, um, it makes cocktails. So cute. And then what we got in this one? I got my little uh, menu over here. Hmm. 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 They got some good stuff up in 
here. Oh yeah. We're gonna have fun with this. Voila. So cute, right? So now I gotta put some liquor up in there. Okay. So this is a little drink mix, like a little pot. Um, I just chose lemon drop for right now because the uh, all I got is Tito's. So I put my Tito's in here. Um, all I got is Tito's, and the only thing really compatible with Tito's is lemon drop or the um, what was the other one? Long Island. So, insert your capsule and close the lid. Oh, hold on now. What just came out of here? I'm gonna um, rinse this off. It's probably just some water. I just I just did like the first time usage where it like cleans out the, the machine or whatever. So I think. Let's see. Read the directions. Oh, you're gonna have. Da, 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 da. Okay. So. It, it clearly says once you puncture the capsule, you have to make it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Place a shaker with ice under the dispenser. Hmm. Okay. Good thing I have a little shaker over here. If I can get it. Let's see how it tells you. It tells you. What type of glass, what type of whatever you need. This is ridiculous. Ugh. Babe! Ugh. It's like doing something, but it's not coming all the way out. Baby! <sighs> hey Siri, call baby cakes on speaker. I can't even get it out. I done him all the way from upstairs to get it out. He can't even get it out, Lord. I'm not no fucking He-Man. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Ha, ha. It's so fucking slippery. Your hands are like just... Mm -hmm. The hell? Y'all can do what I can do. Oh, my God. Ha, ha. Oh, my God. You can't twist this off, babe. I, I twisted it and it moved a little bit. That's your name, I need a... Oh, I'm doing it. Which way are you twisting it? I don't, it don't matter. Whichever way it goes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck that. I ain't going for it. This shit ain't working. Let, let me get a little, um, maybe a little saran wrap. Maybe it will help me lean to it. I don't know. I, I used to have a little uh, jar opener thing, but. I just need, like, a Watch towel out. so I can grip it. I got the gloves. Yeah, I got, I got the gloves. Now I can get it. With. Oh my God, this is not the move. Mm -hmm. Ultimate grip blood. Here, man. Yeah, this is the wrong hand. Okay, I'm fucking left-handed, so. If you're strong, you're strong with both hands. <laughs> nah, this shit really ain't made to um, come off. It does come off, babe. You're supposed to put ice in here. It's a shaker. They all supposed to come up. Get a um. A knife or something. No, not a knife. That shit do not come off, bro. That shit, bro. <laughs> that shit don't come off. All right, y'all. We finally, <laughs> I finally got the cap off. So let's see. Place the shaker with the ice under the dispenser. Next. Ooh. Let's see. Let's do it over here. This is how the display looks. I got the shaker under there with the ice in it, like it says. 
It's asking me the different shrimps that I want. I'm going with scrum. And I'm going to mix it. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Take my little lemon drop, period. So it says, when complete, shake, strain, and enjoy your drink. Wow, y'all, I'm actually surprised. Like, this is super good. And, trust me, I was a waitress at a club for two and a half, three years. I could not make this. <laughs> I've been messing pelt shrinks up. I never learned how to bar in. This is amazing. Oh, it says, open the lid and remove the capsule. Good. It's actually really good. 